Francesca lives near Melfi in Basilicata. Io mi chiamo Francesca, buonasera a tutti. Oggi facciamo la mappa runara. She uses semolina flour, which she sieves to remove any impurities. L'acqua si mette quanto ne basta. She kneads the dough briefly until it is smooth and then cuts it into pieces. She flattens them and then uses a machine to roll the dough out. The pasta should stay thick. The macaronara rolling pin can be made with wood or brass. Francesca uses her body weight to push the grooves through the pasta to create ribbons, similar to a square spaghetti. She carefully pulls them apart from the edges. Si mette la di nuovo la farina per non farla attaccare. Scusa, vedi che bello? A cutting attachment makes it a much quicker process. Francesca keeps her pasta well flared to stop it sticking. The machine rolled macaronara are thinner than the rolling pin version. The pasta strands should dry for 20 minutes or longer. Francesca heats some olive oil and slices an onion with her nonna knife. She adds fennel seed flavoured sausages and pieces of veal, which she browns with the onion. Questa la facciamo noi. She has a neat trick to open the screw top of her tomato passata. Ooh. You've got to get close up. Il tappo va via presto. She adds this to the meat and leaves everything to simmer for about an hour. Francesca boils the pasta in salted water for about five minutes. She drains it and mixes in some tomato sauce. Then she adds some more to serve it, along with plenty of pecorino cheese. E voilà! Dal produttore al consumatore. Francesca serves the meat separately. Buon appetito! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.